American Airlines has apparently canceled a teenager's plane ticket after catching him skip lagging. It's a thing, we're gonna get into what that means. But basically, he was scheduled to fly from Gainesville, Florida to New York City. But he intended to disembark during a layover halfway between those in Charlotte, North Carolina. I think we have a little bit of video we can put up. So this is what skip lagging is. It's mostly an industry term, but the idea is that a passenger books a flight where the layover is their intended stop, not the final destination. Now, why would you do that? Well, you do that because you've been put into that position by the plane, the the you know the airlines, where going to the layover stop and then just ending there is somehow cheaper than a much longer flight. It makes no sense to a regular person, but that is the status quo. And so some people desperately trying to save money on plane tickets that have become more expensive every single year do this skip lagging. There was actually a website by the way called Skip Lagged that was sued back in 2014 by United Airlines and Orbitz. And the teenager who was punished in this way and apparently is gonna be banned for three years from flying on American Airlines. Oh, come on. Which is either a penalty or a benefit depending on how you look at it. <laughs> anyway, um, said we've used skip lagged almost exclusively for the last five to eight years. Uh, that's the father saying that was the first time his son traveled alone on a plane. And you might wonder, well, how did they figure this out to even punish the teen? Well, gate employees in Florida doubted that the teenager's final destination would be New York City because he had a North Carolina driver's license. According to the teenager's parents, the teenager was detained by gate employees and questioned as a minor. So their only evidence was that the person took off in Florida, was gonna go to New York and lives in North Carolina. So it's inconceivable that you would keep flying past like I could be in Arizona, come to LA and then go to Hawaii or whatever. Like what is this the place of the airline to stop this kid? Because he is doing what I think to be the only reasonable thing with the anti-consumer policies of these airlines. I don't know if you, have you ever done this Francesca? No, I haven't, but now I'm mad that I haven't um, because if it makes the airlines mad, I'm for it. Um, it's ridiculous, like what are they losing? So. They're like, well, we could have sold that extra leg. I don't know, then do it. Then why don't you lower the price? Like, you, if you're trying to squeeze more money out of it, it seems like you can. But you also, you already got paid. What's it to you if this person gets off halfway or not? It's ridiculous. It's like if you, you know, buy a train fare, you know, or whatnot, and they're like, ah, you got to stay on. It's like, who cares? I got off early. I got yeah. off early. That's all this is. And again, it goes to like the broader problem of transportation in this country, which is that yes, it is cheaper in these for these massive corporations to fly you between massive cities, whereas you know uh, Gainesville or whatnot. Um, don't know exactly where he was going, but like North Carolina was out of the way and was a different price point. And if we actually had robust public transportation, maybe a robust train system or network throughout this country that wasn't exorbitant or sort of like like a weird splurge to travel on Amtrak, which it kind of is because it's super expensive. We could do this. We yeah. could have local, you know, local transportation and on smaller trips, and not just. And I will say this: not just smaller flights again, which. Is moving us in the wrong direction when it comes to preventing massive mm. heat waves like the one we're currently in. Yeah, I think. Look, I understand, but like, I think we do. We go too far in their direction in accepting that it's out of the way. It's kind of out of the way, but it's not out of the way for that flight which is going there. Right, it's exactly. Going there to then go farther. It was a layover. I have to go there, so why can't I go there? You're the one that wants to like literally charge more for less flight. That is a you problem. That is <laughs> not an us problem. And I got news for you. Whether you do the direct or you do the skip lagging, you are paying too much either way. Okay, it is way too much with all the BS they get away with. I, I'm gonna try not to talk about this for too long, but I had a situation where I had a flight that got canceled, so they do the thing which they only do because it's legally mandated, where they give you like a voucher to go towards a flight, and the voucher is for like 200 bucks. And then the fee that they give you for using a voucher is like $180. Jesus. I want to run for office just to destroy the airlines at this point. And you're mad at us because we skip lag? 
I still paid you for the flight and for the people that would have sat next to me on the second leg. They now have a better experience, which might defray some of the horrible treatment they're getting from you. I'm doing a public service for you, America Airlines. Why aren't you paying me? Anyway, he's banned for three years. Some people have been banned for life for skip lagging. I have considered this in the past. I will say in the future, definitely gonna do this. In fact, banned even if it's more life. expensive. I feel like the guy who peed off a drink cart wasn't banned for life. Yeah, They're exactly. like, no, nah, we can deal with that. Like people who assault flight attendants aren't banned for life. 100%. Skip lagging, come on. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.